in one word, Quinn. I mean, the, the man is able to sit back for years at a time, and it's almost like a collage of different ideas, encounters that he has, stories that he hears, and he somehow puts all this stuff together and gives us as an audience, no matter what they think of the movie, they, they know they're in for an incredibly unique experience every time they go, and that's why people keep coming back. And I would have never expected that he'd want to tell this story, but it was something that he's been thinking about for 20 years. He told us he, he sat down with a stunt double and and, uh, and and the actor, and they were just kind of a unit on, unto themselves. He goes, that would be a great buddy picture. And now here we are years later making this movie. Our characters are kind of two sides of the same coin. He's my, he's my stunt double. Yet we, we develop this very unique relationship that helps us navigate our own survival. And it's the, from the brilliant mind of Quentin Tarantino to put these, all these different pieces together. Quentin, in the, for this, I think it's his most personal. I'm a big fan of movies that are about Hollywood, ho Hollywood culture. I love Singing in the Rain, for example. But this is a very unique take on Hollywood because he takes it from the perspective of two guys that are outsiders. You know, Brad and I are in a changing culture, a changing industry. The industry is sort of going into the long-haired sort of hippie types, and we're a product of the 50s, and we're out of work. And Sharon Tate happens to be my neighbor, and all of a sudden I see a new opportunity. But I just love that it's almost like, you know, we're voyeurs to a changing culture. And what Quentin does so well is just bring a sense of reality, even though there's a almost fairy tale aspect to what he does, hence the name Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It is based in a lot of real fact and a lot of Hollywood history. And I think people will love a great art film on this scale about our industry.